season, I make sure I go through a rigorous routine of getting my game in some sort of shape. Looking at long game, short game and putting. In this episode, this is going to be the long game with a very, very special guest. Let's find out. Let's crack on. Before we start, I just want to say a big, big thank you to the Beaches Driving Range down here in Nutsford for allowing me to come down here to film this. The facility is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's, it's possibly one of the best in the area. I'm going to apologise in advance for the audio quality today. It's really windy up here in Nutsford today, so there's not much I can do with that. I've not got radio mics as of yet. So every year, I like to come down and do a reset. If it worked for Jack Nicholas, it can work for any of us. He used to say to his coach, teach me, I'm a beginner. And I've kind of done the same as that for a long, long time. Because of COVID, it's been more difficult to try and get any coaching done uh, and try and get my game looked at properly. But last season, I went into the season swinging it pretty good anyway, so I didn't want to change too much. But as the season got on, I noticed I was getting a couple of little problems, a couple of little faults. So what I've done is for my main game, I've gone and asked a very good friend of mine, who's going to be coming and short, coming joining us shortly, um, to, to start to have a look at my swing. And we did a rebuilding within 45 minutes. And it felt pretty damn good. In fact, I finished the season really strong with the lowest score I've ever shot of gross 72 two over at Sale Golf Club. So what I'd like to do now is start to try and rebuild on that and start to work on it a little bit more, make sure I can get it all right and get it all in place. I'm also going to be looking at then my short game and also my putting. So this could be a really good season uh, and, and a really good prep for the season coming up. So please stay tuned. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Think about giving us a subscribe as well, please, folks. I appreciate that. And now my guest has arrived. Joanne Morley. Hi. Hello, Rob. How are you? Very well, Chuck. How are you? Very well. It's a little bit breezy here. It, it, it's, a slight, it's got a slight bit of a... Uh, it's like gust, you could say. Gust. A, a, a light zephyr, maybe. Yeah, a wee breeze. A wee, wee breeze. A wee breeze. J j just nice for Linksy golf today, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Perfect nice to Linksy keep golf. The ball nice and low, feel it in there, a few shots, you know. For those who don't know, Joanne Morley is a legend in her own lifetime and she hates being called that, but tough. Uh, former Solheim Cup uh, winning vice captain. Uh, he's played on the Solheim Cup as well and also a former uh, Ladies European Tour winner as well. Yes. Uh, absolute legend, but what we're, we're blessed at where we're, we're from for my golf club at Sale, she's also an honorary life member. Uh, so not only is the same never meet your heroes, I've got to say one of my heroes is my best mate. So Aww. I can I can't say thank you enough for that. Joanne's gonna cut Jan's here today. Oh, so nice. That, that's all the mushy stuff over. We can go back to abuse now. So Joanne's here today to give me a, a hand and take a look at me swing. So as I said earlier at the top of the show, we did a full swing swing rebuild in about 45 minutes back in August and it felt like that had been my natural swing. I had a little bit of time where I've not been able to play and I've done quite a bit of practice you see on my social media channels but I've not been able to play properly. So the swing's just a little bit awry and I've got the season coming up, the season's starting in two weeks for me uh, with a pro-am so, and, and that's with my short game coach. So I need to make sure I can get the swing some sort of where it needs to be. And this lady right here is a maestro when it comes to taking a look at simplicity of teaching. Uh, no, no fussing, no messed about. We're just gonna have a look at it properly raw. So let's go and take a look into it. So I've done a bit of a warm up. And here it goes. I'm dreading this now. Keep that right elbow relaxed for me. Chin up. All right. And the reason I want your chin up is I want you to feel as if you've got a little bit more space here. Yeah. You know, if your chin's down, it's very, you're not down here, but this is but very difficult to make a turn because that's got nowhere to go. Right. So just make sure that your chin is up. Yeah. It's probably difficult having the big beard. You can't have your chins up or down. No, it? I can't. But sometimes I do feel as if because we're yeah, only, I get a bit like we're, that, only don't I? we're not tall, me and you. No. So you've got to utilise all your height. Yeah. You know, so you don't want to be down here. That, be athletic at the ball, that's what I say to it, be athletic here, so you're, you're there, your chest can stay over the ball when you get back to it, Yeah. and then you can fire it through. Okay, so stay more athletic then? Yes, right. come on. Relax that right elbow. Much better, much better, much better. Yeah? Yeah, much better. You liking that? Yes, very much so. Keep working on this back swing yeah. here and there, so it's not all going to be on one plane. Okay. Got to be 
there. So, so just show us that what you mean there, Joanne. So what, what, what I think you've been doing, because we tried to shorten your backswing. Yeah. What I think you've been doing is, when you come to practice, you've almost been going on one plane. Yeah. Where you need to be, that right elbow's relaxed, there. So your left arm is going across your chest, and then up. And then from there, you just let everything just turn through naturally. Right. You just finish. So... You've been to one plane, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And then that enables, that's too flat. That's because I was then causing the over the top. Yeah, so you right, come over the top, there, or you carry on that, and then that's when you get that big raking. Yeah. Draw. So when we when we did the work back in uh, August now, I got you to hit some knockdown shots. Some knockdown shots. You want me to, to kind of work yeah, on those? Yeah. What club have you got? This is a pitching wedge. Do you want me to change up upper yeah, club? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's go to something like a seven or an eight iron. All right, we'll go. We'll go seven iron then, because that's everybody's favourite yeah. club in a bag, isn't it? Yeah. And I want you. I want you to visualise that you're going to hit a three-quarter seven iron. Right. Into a. You've got a bit of breeze coming at you. Yeah. I want you to keep the ball a bit lower. Yeah. So you're going to stay more on top of the ball when you come through. Okay. All right. That was good. Okay. That was just a full swing, weren't it? Yeah. Well, fair about that. Come on, you got a, you got a howling breeze into you. I want that ball to come out yeah. right high. What you think is right high. Okay. That was better. That's what I want to see. I want to see that curtailed finish. Yep. So you're here, you're there, you're there, and curtail it. So you're driving everything. A bit like a Tommy Fleetwood finish. So a bit, a bit of a Tommy. Right, yeah. Okay. Keep that right elbow relaxed. Okay. Bit, bit fat. Bit far. Just a little bit. Don't be in such a hurry. From the top especially. Okay. Yeah, that's always my kind of my, my yeah. faults, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Much better. Much better. Just your transition was better. Right. You weren't so you weren't so you know, even though you're only in like a little three-quarter knockdown shot, you still got to give yourself time here yeah. to get back to that position. Chest over the ball, curtail finish. So yeah. not to feel like I'm rushing the transition, yep. and then feel like it's a Tommy Fleetwood for three quarters. Exactly. Right, okay. Chin up and keep that right elbow nice and relaxed for me. Okay. Can right, when you get to the top there, right, yeah. just let everything come back down there. Don't be in here and then send it out that way to bring it back that way. So when you're here, literally turn, turn yeah. Right, okay. So fill up here and then feeling it's all coming there through. There you go, yes. Right. Okay. So that's where I'm getting to there and I'm going that way then, aren't I? I'm making the shaft plane too yep. steep, right. Keep okay. that one on your downswing, see if that right shoulder's staying back. Right, okay, okay. Nearly. 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 Wasn't wasn't a mile off. Just to give myself. Right, so I'm gonna go to that that flag. No, the only problem is that right. that's my aiming point, okay. yeah? In theory. I know it'll draw, if I hit it properly, it'll draw off left right. anyway. So, are we aiming right at that flag or directly on that flag? Directly on it. Well, you're aiming at the 200 marker to the right of it. Oh, right, okay. And that's See, probably why you're this... doing what you're doing when you're coming over the top. Right, okay. Oh, right, let me just get the... I forgot to bring out an alignment cane. Don't worry, I've got my old bloody. So for me, you want to be probably there. That might be a bit too left for you, but. No, no, that left, left, left is better, is a better exaggeration. 
Alright, okay. So feet parallel to that. That's better, Rob. Much better. Oh, Chin up, relax that right elbow for me. Better. Be better. Yeah, That's be fine. Better though, weren't it? That was better. So I think what you might have been doing is aiming too far right. Too far right. That'll make sense. I mean, that, that's a bit of a curse I've had over the years. I've gone a bit too far that way. All golfers have a, all golfers, biggest problem is lining up. That's fine. Yeah, that was just wing taking left. Yeah. That's fine, that started on your target line. Yeah. But well, yeah. don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid that when... You, I know I'm not videoing you, but when, when you can hear it anyhow, yeah. but when you come back down, like I say, keep that, try and keep that right shoulder back, right. if that makes sense. So, so as I'm coming back down, keep the yes, there. Yes, there you go. So yeah. almost going under, but not quite. Yeah. Right. That's my fear of going that, because I, I used to go too far under, then go yeah. that way. Or the feeling is like when the old toilet change. Yeah. Feels if you're pulling that down. So, so get into the and then pull the toilet chain there down. There you go. Right, okay. So that right shoulder stays back, right. doesn't go forward. Okay, okay. There you go. Much better. I mean, you might have got it a bit skinny, but yeah. much better. A little bit skinny. Much better right shoulder, though, Rob. Right, get that chin up. Come on. Be athletic at the ball for me. You don't see Rory McElroy with his chin on his chest. That felt, that's not the best track I've done. That was good. That, that did feel like the best yeah, track I've done so good. far. But your backswing's suddenly better. Is it? Yeah, 100%. You're not going on one plane now. Oh, super swing. There you go. Well, those last two were spot on. Right, let's go into the fairway woods. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going into the fairway woods. I wish Mr. Potter all the luck in the world. Well, well. So, five, what we were saying to you the other week, yeah. the five wood has become a big slinging toey draw. Uh, and that's pretty much been the stop shot recently. It's looked really? lovely, <laughs> but it's not what, what's been needed. All right, hit one for me. Keep that ball forward. That's good. There you go. That's the one. That's the big toey swinger. There you go. That's better. There you go. That's how it was in the seems for, for some reason this this Really great big swinging hooks. Yeah, what we've been doing is getting to here, you get to there, and you just go, woo, and then in here, and then whoop. So make right. sure that so they not turning. turn, yeah. Right, okay, let's do that then. So. There you go. Get those hips out of the way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. That's the there you go. Very good. Great swing. Yeah. Oh, that was on the money. I that felt, was I actually felt like I'd hung back on that one a bit. Oh, I love that though. Yeah, did, that, that but was did all right. You, wait on it, I'm still videoing. No, did no, you, keep, keep, did, keep you, did you hang back with your hips, body or your hands? It just felt like my, I, I, my weight was further back. I felt like I hadn't transitioned through. I turned, but there was more weight on the back to launch it. Okay. So I'm probably a bit flippy with the hands. It, it's kind of how it felt. Right. Well, it started bang on your target line. It though. did, yeah. Go on, keep that right elbow relaxed for me. That's key. Oh, very good. Just, that's, that's just moving in the wind, Rob. That yeah. was bang on your target line. Well, it's, it's going back to like what, what we were talking about the, the other month. How did that uh, one feel? That felt that felt really good. Did that. So. Go back to what we was talking about back in August. Yeah. When you're saying again about about the weight load on the right hand side in the, in the backswing, yeah. and a dress. 
So what I've been thinking with that one, you, you, you were saying to me there that don't, your body will naturally move its weight to the left. Yep. Don't try and make it move no, to the left. No, it will naturally go, it has yeah. to. Whatever goes up has to come down. Yeah, so that's that's very much uh, what I was, what, with driver yep. is what I'm kind of thinking of it is don't think too much about moving because no. I'll sway and no. then I'll come over the top more. Yep. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. You will again. naturally find your way back to the ball. Yeah. As long as, it, as long as you get your back swing in the correct position, the rest of it will take care of itself. Yeah. That, so he's, he's trying to get me, me head into that, into that game sort of thing. Well, it could be here a while then, ladies and gentlemen. Especially with my head. Uh, chin up, relax that right elbow. Oh, great swing. Great swing. Great finish as well. But your finish was natural, it wasn't forced, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it just naturally yeah. happened, occurred. So go on, what, what are you saying there? I know like a golfer. Now, go you, now you kind of look like a golfer. If so that makes kind. Sense. I know, I can't help not, it. But, not just a fat lad. But you've gone from here, right, you chin up now. So now you're athletic, you've got a bit more space here. And now you're not going on one plane, you stop that. So now you're going, so chin up, right? Elbows nice and relaxed here, chin up, space, athletic. Get that chest off the ball. There, hinge. Keep that right shoulder back when you come through. Feel as if you're pulling a toilet chain. And then from there, literally, just turn through and have that curtailed follow through for you. Because it just keeps you on top of the ball for longer. On the whole, I'd say that wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Hey, quick. Well, it, it couldn't have been a lot, it couldn't have really been any worse than what it was when you first hit your first few. They were awful, weren't they? They weren't good. They weren't good? No, they weren't good. You were going back on one plane, there was no hinge, and you were, what, a little bit, not chin down, chin up, be athletic at the ball. You just kind of lost your way a little bit, mm. which is understandable. It's winter golf, driving range, blah, blah, blah. Now we've got your more athletic at address, Chin up, right elbow relax for you is key because that gets you to start the backswing better. And then from there, just let yourself naturally find the ball when you come back down. You don't have to force it to go forward if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because what goes up has to come down. Right, okay. Yeah? Yeah. And everything that you do on the downswing is pretty good. It's this getting this backswing right, setting it right, and then you can just come back, back to the ball. Right, so it's that. much better. Those, Last three or four drivers were spot on the money. Brilliant. No, thank you for that. You're very welcome. So, this is Joanne Morley, absolute legend of the game, superstar. <laughs> please like, please like, like, like this video just for the fact of Joanne's giving up a time <laughs> to come down here to teach a moron like me how to play golf. So, yeah, Joe, as always, thank you very much, Joe. You're very welcome, Superstar. Brilliant. Well Cheers, done, Mr. Potter. All the best, guys. Take care.